I used to enjoy sitting in my family's kitchen and listening to my mother's wall clock tick. Listening to the ticking made me think about my breathing and, and my heartbeat and I would imagine someone else breathing right next to me even though I was all alone. It's pretty strange, isn't it? You see, there was always chaos. This was just one way to control it, I guess, just by sitting alone and listening. I once played a game where I paced my pulse to the ticking. It sounds stupid, but it got to be like a race. And we were going pretty strong there for a while, my pulse and that ticking, until the clock wound up under my foot, smashed to pieces, accidentally. Other times, when, when I got cold in the house, I'd turn on the gas stove and all four burners, and I'd sweep the warm air into my chest. I don't know if it was the heat or my arms swirling, but it reminded me of that one summer my mom taught me how to swim in Lake Michigan. My old man built a little fire on the beach just for the three of us because I was shivering. I always seemed to be shivering as a kid or whatever, but I still remember the sounds that fresh wood makes when thrown on hot red embers. Almost a kind of ticking sound. My old man, that's what you really want to know, isn't it? He came into the kitchen one day on a string of highballs. Pop liked to play king for a day, granting himself permission to do whatever he wanted. Actually, that was nearly every day, only this time, for some still unknown reason. He, he raised his arm like he was going to throw a baseball or something, and he, he hit my mom with his dirty fingernail fist. And all of a sudden, the strangest thing happened. I started to hear that clock ticking again, only this time it was louder and faster. And my pulse started gaining speed and pressure and the clock ticking faster and faster. And finally, for the first time, I tried to get in between the two of them before he could land another blow on my mom. And, and he just fell, hitting his head on the countertop, dropping to the floor, falling, and his head making the same sound of what mop makes when it hits a freshly waxed tile. He just stopped moving. No response. And when the men came to take him away, the strangest thing happened. The clock wound up under my foot again, smashed to pieces. Accidentally. It's just me now. The chaos is gone. All alone. Who else are you going to believe? <laughs>